Hey guys, Jessica here. This is your March prediction. This is all the energy that you may experience during the month of March this year. And I'm not going to do pick a card. It's just going to be um, the weeks of the month that we're going to be experiencing the energy in. So let's dive right in. Thank you for being here. All right, so here are the decks I'm going to be using for this reading. This is my Witch's Tarot, and I just took all of the major arcana cards out so we can see what the overall theme themes for March is going to be. And looking at my calendar, I see that there's five weeks, um, not full weeks, but five, like over half weeks in March. That doesn't always happen. Um, so <clears throat> we're going to have a little bit more um, cards to read, but that's okay. I'm going to do a beginning, middle, and end of the month. And the quote for March is March 4th with pride. Okay, so anything that you have been working on, it's time to feel really deep in the um, energy of looking into what you've actually accomplished up to this point. Um, if you watched, if you happen to watch my reading from when I did the end of the year of 2021, it was definitely this energy of like, if you get a lot done right now, if you start right now in December and November and October, then come next year, you're going to be, um, seeing the fruits of your labors increasing. And I still think that that is true. At least in my life, I have followed the steps and I'm growing something and now the universe is saying to reflect and take pride in your work so that you have even more energy to keep on going. So I'm going to shuffle up the cards and then we will be right back. All right, I have all of the piles shuffled. Well, all of the cards shuffled for this reading. And if you are new to this channel. I am an intuitive reader. I just shuffle the cards um, and when one pops out I choose that one or if one of them is sticking out in the universe or my spirit guides are telling me to look at it then I will or I'll pull it out. Okay <clears throat> so I'm just moving all these over until I'm getting to that deck. But we're going to start out with the Lenormand deck because that will give us this overall theme of what is going to be happening. I love the Lenormand deck because it's really good at like zoning in on the, the core uh, of the situation. Okay, it's very um, specific. It's easier to read specifically. All right, so let's see what we got here. Okay, we got the mice and the path. Okay, so the mice stands for um, loss, death, um, damage, um, decrease, things that like dirty, uh, maybe something that's been happening in your life is not what you wanted it to be or it's just finally getting to this point where you just can't take it anymore you just want to put it to rest okay and the good thing about the path card is that it's saying that you're gonna have a choice okay you're gonna be able to choose a new path if you so choose if you want to okay so when these two cards are next to each other it means that you're gonna have some kind of ch new choice Possibly it's going to be stressful for you, um, but the universe is saying, you've got this, do not worry, okay? And the card of the path here is about, um, well, it's about um, change, choosing a new direction, but the timing of this card is in April, and April comes right after March, so it could mean that you're going to be having the stressful time throughout um, April, I mean throughout March, but come April it's going to be figured out, okay? And 
this woman here stands for an ind independent woman who resists cooperation. And I'm getting the message to try your best to work with other people at this time because you never know how things are going to turn out. Okay, maybe you worked with this person before or you tried this before and it didn't work out. Um, <clears throat> but I think if you give it another chance, it might. Just don't rest everything on another person's shoulders. Make sure you still have your own back. And the clubs here, Seven of Clubs, stands for a change in career status. Um, and it could be positive or negative. So the change that you're experiencing could be in your career, in your money. Um, it's, it's most likely going to be in the physical world and not a um, mind thing. Okay? So that's great. Start the year off with a change that will carry you through the rest of the year. Try to keep a positive mindset about this change. So now I have these uh, Major Arcana tarot cards, and we will see what they are showing. We have the Star, the Lovers, the World, the Chariot, and the Hermit. Okay, so the star stands for your inner light, that, that passion, um, what is, what m turns your light on inside of you, okay, and expressing that out into the world. The lovers here is like a new commitment. It could be a commitment to yourself, to your higher self. You could be making a commitment in work to someone else, okay? Uh, I see the world here, so things are coming full circle for you. Um, the chariot, things are moving, and the hermit, you have to, you will have to look within. Now, this could also mean that you have come to the top of this mountain, this hermit has this light that is um, showing him the way. I mean, it doesn't show that much, but he trusts that he will find the way. And it's curious that the reading starts with the star, okay? That's like the light is within you, and then by the end of the cards, the light is outside of you and it's leading you. So this could be like some realization about what you really want to do with your life. And then the, the chariot comes in and you actually start taking action toward it. So I'm getting the message that there may be a new idea coming in. And they're saying you don't know about it just yet. But this isn't new to you. This idea has just been um, covered up in the darkness inside of you. And you're going to be coming to light. So with these two cards here, it says, um, this spades card here says that you could be experiencing a change in career status. So it's possible that maybe you are noticing, you know, what you're really capable of or someone else is. Or maybe with the lover's card, you, you're committing yourself, excuse me, you're committing yourself to um, either a new job or a new project with someone else. And it's going to help move things along. Okay, so don't be surprised if someone comes out of the woodwork this month and offers you an opportunity. And like I said back here in these two cards, make sure that you have your own back and you don't just let them take the reins. Like here on the chariot, make sure that you are still in control and allow them to go with you together. It could be that you guys will both be playing off each other's strengths. So don't focus on the weaknesses, focus on what you can teach each other. Okay, so I'm going to move these cards aside here. Um, and they just want me to say here, with the world card, um, it could change your whole perception of how things go are going, which is amazing in my opinion. 
All right, I have these moon cards here. Let's see what they have to say. We have the hair. It is an auspicious time for new beginnings. So for sure, I think all these cards have been talking about a new beginning, something new coming up in our lives in March. The cow, <laughs> a new beginning, or even a new life may be blooming. Okay, so I think March, we're definitely experiencing newness. Okay, the dark moon, spend time in contemplation and meditation in order to seek greater understanding of yourself and those around you. And when you are in contemplation and meditation, you are the hermit. You are inside. Okay. And the dark moon, um, when there's light, it means that you're truly seeing um, what it looks like. But with the dark moon, it seems like it hasn't actually come to fruition just yet enough to see okay but now we have the full moon so it seems like it's going to be um, a night and day for you okay you might go down this little bit of a rabbit hole here with contemplation and meditation trying to figure this out but don't get too stuck on it okay when these when inspiration because we have um the star here when these inspiring ideas come into you about this new path that you can take, it's saying to do it, okay? Now is a powerful time to set long-term goals and sow seeds for the future. So like I was saying in this reading here, it could be that um, you've been building something up and over the past few months, and now in March you're actually going to see the results coming to fruition, actually um, concrete, like you've been building a foundation up until this point and the foundation has been built, okay, you can see the foundation, um, whereas when it's just in the beginning, you have this hope in your mind that the foundation is coming, um, but I think with this world card, it's actually, you know, a confirmation that it's coming, it's, it's coming full circle for you. Okay, with the waning moon, we have let go of that which is causing you inner turmoil. Now is a time for casting away emotions that no longer serve you. And I'm getting the message that this is imperative to your journey. If you want to move forward and get rid of this, uh, these mice here, this destruction, if you can get caught up in the fact that something is no longer working for you. But this is saying you need to just let it go. And I'm going to set this here with the moon, with the cow, um, because you need to realize that this new life is beginning and things are not going to happen exactly the way you want them to, but they could turn out to be better than you ever expected. So try to be optimistic and not pessimistic in this situation here. And wow, half to full moon, embracing high levels of motivation and energy will bring feelings of empowerment and satisfaction. Okay, so it's saying <clears throat> right here, be in the darkness, okay, let go of what's no longer serving you, these two cards are saying that, and then on this side here, it's saying now is the time to set intentions and embrace high levels of motivation. So it seems like throughout the month, you're going to be going through these phases of experiencing, is this what I really want? Um, you know, and oftentimes if we've already reached most of our goals, it just means it's time to set more goals. Um, and if you are feeling a lack of motivation, it could just mean that you need to update, update your goals. And I'm, I'm seeing this, uh, the lover's card is about commitment. Um, when I pulled it out, they were like, commitment, commitment. So I would say you're committing yourself to a new version of yourself that is actually going to bring you the results that you are hoping for. So let's see what Ascended Masters are going to be helping us. Okay, or what kind of insights they can give us here. We have Odin. Psychic insight. Your third eye is open. See truth 
for what it is and follow your intuition. And I'd say that is the number one message over this whole reading is that things are going to change, but you're still going to know what to do with these um, cards down here. It's showing that you can trust yourself that you're going to make a good decision. Okay, we have charity, prayer, and contemplation. Connect with heaven, ask, and you shall receive. Okay, um, it's not enough to just ask for money. Um, you need a purpose, you need a reason, you need motivation from the universe. See the bigger picture of what this change is for you. Okay, and ascension. Move into your true self. Arise above the darkness. The light is here. And I'm seeing this sun, okay? And he has the infinity symbol over his mind, over his third eye. And um, I'm getting what goes around comes around, but also he can see all ways, just like your third eye can see all ways. And this is Odin here we talked about the third eye too. So it could be in March you're experiencing a third eye awakening that you're going to be seeing how everything has been coming together over all this time. And you're like, oh, that's why I did that thing back then. Oh, that's why when I was a kid I was interested in this. It's going to be coming full circle. That could be why we're getting the world here. Okay, we're it's coming full circle. And I'm really hoping that this is going to be um, a dream come true for you. Okay. And we have one more pile here. The Alice the Wonderland deck. And this deck is always really good about calling me out. Calling us out about things. So we got painting the roses red. Covering up errors. Okay. So if you have covered up things that you've done wrong or things you're worried about people judging you about. Okay, the universe is saying, stop trying to be somebody you're not. All right, roses are just as beautiful white as they are red. And the only reason you're doing that is because you're afraid of what people are going to think. Okay, to be your true self, to take this new path, you have to stop caring about what people are thinking about you. And especially, you need to look into consideration, look into and consider how you are thinking about yourself, because that is the number one priority, is to figure out how you think about yourself. Alright, we got impo blah, blah, blah. we got impossible things. Working through disbelief, imaginative leaps, and a fresh perspective. So if you say in your head, is it's not possible, or is that even possible, or you're worried that it might not happen, Okay, the universe is saying you need to trust that impossible things happen all the time. That's why we call them a blessing. But the truth is, a lot of the times, people have been working their butts off for many, many years, many months, whatever it is, and the universe recognizes that, and perfect timing comes into play, and the things that need to happen, happen. And really what this is saying is stop, work through your disbelief and try to learn to believe that things are possible and take imaginative leaps. Okay, think about it in your mind. All right, imagine what could happen. Imagine the best case scenario instead of the worst case scenario, which I feel like this girl is doing over here. All right. Okay, we got such a curious dream. Grounding, returning to reality, and coming home. So it seems like in March there's going to be this balancing of like, I'm not going to take this anymore. I'm not going to do it this old way anymore. I'm going to find out something new. And then you're going to contemplate it and think about what, how you're going to do this in a new way. And, and then you're actually going to figure out how you can bring it into reality. It says returning to reality and coming home and grounding. So... It could be that you are experiencing this new idea in your head and then you're actually figuring out how to bring it back down to earth and actually work on it, okay? 
all in the golden afternoon. Inspiration, creative spark, imagination. It's definitely seems like in March you're going to be experiencing this new outlook on um, a passion that you have. I think all of these major arcana cards here are talking about a change and movement, okay, commitment, um, discovering new ideas, discovering new energy, um, taking a new path, okay? And even these Alice the Wonderland cards are talking about this movement that you're going to be having where you're fed up, you think about what's possible, you start bringing it into reality, and then your creative spark comes back and you feel like a kid again. All right, so I really hope that this reading helped you. Um, I hope you are now looking forward to the energy in March. I know I am because it's a very transformative energy. It's something that we can use as a tool um, to move forward. Just please continue to be mindful about the way that you're thinking about yourself and what's possible. Love and light.